I heard about this research study through Dr. Delk. He reached out to me about this opportunity. At the time, I wasn't really into any extracurricular activities on campus. So when he reached out, I, uh, I happily took it. Before getting the project, I was hesitant to navigate through Microsoft Excel. However, through my time in the project, working with my advisor and also understanding how Microsoft Excel really correlates with our research study truly helped me to change uh, my hesitation. This is actually my first research project that I've ever worked on, so to say I was hesitant is kind of an understatement. I had no idea what I was getting myself into, and it turned out to be some of the best hands-on experience that I could have ever asked for throughout my academic career. Altogether, seeing this project happen from start to finish has been an experience that I'm definitely going to take forward with me. I really enjoyed being able to challenge myself each and every single day by making sure that I was working out, that I was eating healthy, and that I was, that I was participating with other members participating in the project, and hearing about what was our experience. My experience during A4C was very mind-opening because the wristband made me keep track of my health, and when I would walk, it would register as me running, so it clicked that I was getting out of shape and my body started feeling better whenever I would walk, I wouldn't get out of breath. It was very beneficial. The most rewarding about the project was working with the other girls, asking them what their goals were, and seeing that we all had the same goals and that we met them by the end of the project. Uh, the change in my social media engagement, uh, since for the culture, I got more uh, recommendations for like healthy living and exercises and stuff. My health journey that changed after um, I'm more focused on at least like having like 30 minutes a day, like they say you're supposed to have, um, a day in exercise. Before Active for the Culture, I only used social media to keep in contact with my peers, my family, and my associates, but now after Active for the Culture, I use it for exercise methods and healthy eating habits. My overall experience as a student researcher was very positive. Um, I'm so thankful for the, to have had the experience and I know that it's going to make me more competitive as a future employer and a potential graduate student. Being able to work in a group is a, a skill that I was able to acquire while doing this research study because in the work field and uh, whenever you leave college and all that stuff so you're going to be able to work in a group like you're not going to be by yourself working alone you're going to be in a group so being able to do that was key for me. My overall experience here has been incredible. Um, I never thought that I would be on this end of kind of social research and how it doesn't have to be always be super high level, but sometimes you know you can work with information that you have right here and with the people that you have right here to find ways to be impactful in other people's lives. During A4C, I really used, it was really transformative and motivating. I actually paid attention to my health. My experience doing A4C was really fun. Um, I competed in a pageant, so I wore like my wristband during the practices, during those times, so my steps and like um, what I was doing during the day were really improving and going up a lot. Most rewarding in my participation uh, during the project was, uh, to be honest, my, uh, how strong my legs felt afterward because I started working on them more. During A4C, I learned that I actually do a lot of physical activity without realizing it. Being on campus and walking all those miles wasn't something that I thought about until I started the program. We looked at Hispanic and Black women, therefore you know we have to look at the experiences of uh, Black and Hispanic men, the college men, so that's kind of one of our next iterations of this uh, project as well. We also want to see if those social support networks um, assist faculty. So we'll look at faculty and minority serving institutions such as University of Houston, which is a Hispanic serving institution, and Langston University, which is a historically black university. So we're trying to expand that, look at the different groups. Uh, we're going to create new content uh, that caters towards these specific, these specific groups. And ideally, we hope that the findings from our study encourages social media platforms such as Facebook, Instagram, to make sure that you know the algorithms or that the content they create is considerate of the diverse perspectives and the diverse voices of the, the people that use their platforms. 
The motivation behind the project was to explore whether social media could be used as a positive space for Black and Latino women. We know from the research that Black and Latino women are marginalized, particularly in these online spaces. And so we wanted to know if there were any opportunities to create culturally sensitive spaces where these women can go and not only get social support, but also to have opportunities to gain information about health, physical fitness, and mental awareness. One of the things that we noticed is that they are both really communal um, groups, meaning that they are about the collective, they're living in households that where they might be a parent or they might be a child or they're taking care of a grandparent. And so sometimes they forget about themselves. But with this, we, we realize that we can help these women to remember that they should take themselves, that they should put their, their health first and give them an opportunity to be able to engage with other people who are also interested in those topics.